Hey, what's up guys? Ew, oh man, it's been a very very long time since I posted a video. Um, so I'm trying something new and um, you know, hopefully you guys will like it, you know, find it interesting. I call it game and podcast. So that that is what I'm going to be doing is playing a game and doing my podcast at the same time so that, you know, at least you guys don't get bored of just just looking at me. So I'll be playing a game and I'll be talking whatever topics that I, I have lined up for myself for for today. So yeah. So this is the first episode of the Games and Podcast, and I'm your host, Ruiz. Alright, so um for this game, we will be playing uh, Apartment 1406. It is a horror game, just to let you know, I love horror games, I love uh, RPG games, games that uh, that spooks you guys up and, you know, gets, uh, it gets all freaky and scary. So, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's begin. So we... Damn. Hope the elevator is working. So we're starting in the elevator. All right. So uh, a good topic right now is about yes, not. Uh, apartments because I used to live in an apartment a long, long time ago. Ooh, that thing just fell down. And uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of things that goes on in in apartments, right? So. So living in an apartment is somewhat scary. I mean, I, I know uh, a lot of the people do experience weird things in the apartment. Because uh, late, lately, you know, uh, a lot of people are posting things on, on TikTok. Uh, oh. Even on, on their YouTube channel that they... Um, they experiencing freaky stuff in the apartment. I mean, I can remember uh, some freaky stuff too in, in the apartments that we used to live in when I was young, you know? And not just freaky stuff. I mean, in general, we, we've experienced a lot of other things also. I remember, whoa. Let's move this chair. I remember when we were young in elementary school, you know, we used to live in an apartment right across the school that we used to live in. And we've had, we've had, I, I, for me, like when, when I was experiencing these things growing up, you know, whoa. I know I'm supposed to be telling my story and and I'm just like reacting to a lot of these things but bear with me. So the apartment that we used to live in used to be right across the school called Mulvey School. And I don't know if it, if it was Mulvey School or no, I don't think it was that school. I think it was a, in another apartment. But I remember, you know, as kids, I know for sure they see a lot of things, you know, and then our parents just shrug it off as, you know, it's a, it's in our imagination. But for me, I've experienced, oh, what the heck was that? But for me, I, whew, but for me, I, I experienced, you know, shadows here and there. But my parents just tell me, you know, it's it's nothing. It's just in our imaginary, in in our mind, basically. And it's an arrow pointing down, pointing down. Well, what's this? There's something behind this uh, rug. What's that say? Oh, okay. Oh, there's something shiny on the floor. Is, 
Uh, it's an object. I'm guessing it's a key. But, uh, you know, oh, why am I jumping? So, you never, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, but, uh, yeah, while I'm talking, I'm, you know, I'm just reacting to these things. You know, I, I've seen things like this when I was young, but I, I never really said anything. Okay. I never really said anything because, you know, our your your parents will will always say don't don't pay attention to it. So, so I don't, right? I just basically go back to sleep, close my eyes, and that was that. So that was a small key. So we gotta open this because. It's basically dark in this apartment. So the game I'm playing on is on my PC. I'm not playing on a console or anything, but I am using the um, the PlayStation 5 controller because I'm not used to playing um, with a keyboard and a mouse. So what was I saying yeah you know our, our parents would tell you it's just in your imagination don't pay attention to, oh don't pay attention to it it's a little doll with an, a knife so and I could tell you a story too that um, when I was young you know I, I saw something but I never really mention anything to to basically uh, to anybody oh snap there's another doll here that looks so freaky so when you're young you don't really say anything afterwards because you know for sure Oh, why did I close that? You know for sure that uh, your your parents are just gonna tell you to, you know, just pray that uh, for for these things to go away. And that's what I did, you know. Uh, and the same thing happened to my son when we were sleeping in the bedroom. He woke up probably two or three in the morning. Oh, who the hell put this chair here? I just put it right there. So my son woke up in the middle of the night, two or three in the morning, I guess. I wouldn't say middle of the night. And he was pointing at a corner, saying, there, there's somebody there. Well, who is that? And I was like, what? What are you talking about? Like. He kept, he kept pointing. Oh, I hear something screaming. So he, he kept he kept pointing at a corner, and I and I told him like what what uh, my parents told me told me also. Just don't pay attention to it. Just close your eyes and go back to sleep. So that basically that's what. It, oh, it's dark. Oh. Oh, what the heck? Who keeps turning on and off the lights? Yeah, how do I get out? Oh, it just disappeared afterwards. Okay. That was weird. Oh, you see that? There's a girl behind me. But I don't see anybody in here. I need to turn back. You can see it right there. So I'm guessing my son saw something and I just told him to just go to go back to sleep and just don't pay attention to it. And and that's what all parents should basically do 
you know just tell your kids to to go back to sleep and just close your eyes but if it persists then yeah then there's something wrong and so I guess you know for some people they believe in 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 praying which rids the whatever entity or evilness in the house some uses or calls a uh, you know somebody to to bless the house or whatnot but you know we, we see a lot of these things on YouTube uh, especially on TikTok you know and sometimes I just shrug it off you know just try not to pay attention to it what is this oh it's another key it's a small key okay we will take that and this thing is like basically looking at me see it, it it every time I move it moves its head there's another one over there okay anyways whoa what the hell was that a shadow just ran across the, uh, the hallway Wow. So yeah, that that's uh, that is uh, what what my first topic is is about you know living in an apartment and basically these are some of the things that people experience in an apartment and for some you know they experience these things in the house but I, I think the ones in the house is even more freakier and, and scarier in my opinion compared to an apartment so yeah so that's that's one of the the things I experienced too when, when growing up anyways on to the next topic I had uh, basically written down this is a rusty chalice and a rusty axe I have a feeling I'm gonna be needing this can I nope I can't do that oh what the heck Let's just walk past these things slowly. Oh, snap! You can't really cut the head off, but more likely you could just pass by it. Anyways, whoa! The, the little two people are gone. They were sitting on, on the dresser drawer. And they're gone okay how about here yep they're gone they went somewhere but anyways on to the next topic uh, this one bothers me and and of course uh, you you all probably experienced this one too is plastic bags right plastic bags uh well what's going on like seriously because you know back back in the good old days they they never used to charge bags in grocery stores and restaurants and whatnot and then a few years later they started charging bags right They're either 15 cents to 25 cents fast forward to two or three years later they they got rid of bags and and that pisses me off you know because you what do you call this it
Do I put it here? Oh, okay, yeah, I do. That's what I was wondering. But anyways, uh, as I was saying, with these plastic bags, now, just this week, you know, uh, I found out that some of the grocery stores are selling plastic bags. And I'm like, I thought you guys are getting rid of plastic bags. You know what I mean? And they used to charge it. And before that, it used to be free. But what these companies don't realize is that everything that they sell in the store is is wrapped in plastic in some form or one another, right? And I went to KFC, one of my favorite uh, chicken restaurants. And they told me that they charge 15 cents for the for the for the plastic bag and and I was like what are you serious like you're gonna be charging the brown bags that usually comes with with the meal and everything else to put your food in now they're charging 15 cents for that when you used to be free so my question is like what will happen if you know what if you said no are they just gonna hand you your food right oh snap look at this so are they, are they gonna I think I put the head up oh yes it oh look at this what hey hold on here hold on oh Come on, come on! Oh, they. Okay, so that's how you die? I chopped you up and that's how you die. You got your legs spread wide open? Yeah? Alright. Suit yourself. Whew! What a battle there. Okay, how about the, the rest of them? Okay, you, you died that way. You too. Huh? Got your legs wide open. And this one, you look like an action figure. But anyways, whoa, Lee, they just, they were on that floor. How did they even get there in the first place? And, like, I didn't even realize there were a door behind this uh, shelf. And, and my question is, how did they get in there without even me noticing any sounds of footsteps? Oh, they even blocked this hallway with a brick. You know what, I'm just gonna close that. Yeah, so back back to bags. So these bags, I mean in in the grocery store that I usually go, now they're selling bags. Ten piece a plastic bag for a dollar fifty. And then five piece for seventy five cents. Like, come on. You, you charge people these plastic bags before it was it was okay but now you know they they say that they want to save the world they I'm gonna move this away uh, they you know wanna make the the world a, a safer place from from these plastics and whatnot Okay, let's read this. Okay. Oh, what is this? Anything shiny? We go. Always oh, got to pick it up. Examine it first. And oh, this is a gauze. This doesn't even look like a gauze. This is like this looks dirty. And we got a box here. All right. Okay. Oh, and a locket. So let us. Using the controller sometimes is. I don't even know what the code is. Okay, as I was saying, with these plastic bags, it is annoying. I know they want to. Uh, be environmentally friendly 
with their environments and stuff like that. But you know what? Everything is is made out of plastic. Everything, you know, and getting rid of the plastic bag is not going to do anything. You know, we're just basically wasting more money, and then we're we're buying these cloth type of pla uh, type of bags for for our groceries, our food, and whatnot. When they could just provide us with a plastic bag. I mean, they they got rid of a lot of things. They when I when I ate at a uh, a fast food restaurant, you know. Um, oh, I guess this is the number for that locket. Then I didn't even realize that. So when you get your food, you know. It, well, there's some fast food restaurant that that still you know give plastic bags for free or they probably charge you without even you knowing right not unless you look at your receipt and then bam right there it's either gonna be 10 cents or 15 cents or even 25 cents so KFC charges 15 cents for their brown bags okay and oh. occult manuscript 4 okay let's take a look around it okay, so let's take that so uh, as, uh, as I was saying you know oh what the hell is that you see that in the window I'm going off topic here. This is harder than I thought it would be. You know, try to play a game while I do a podcast. But you know what? This is the first episode, and I'm doing the best I can. Hopefully, by uh, overtime, you know, it'll get easier and easier for me. So I can be able to play and talk about what I need to talk about without getting off topic. And of, of course, you know, I will be doing some reacting to the game that I'll be playing. And just to let you know that I will not be playing the same type of game uh, over and over again. I like to change it up, so you are freaky. So, probably on the next episode, you know, I will be playing a different game. But I find this one interesting because it had to do with the topic I was talking about earlier, the first one about living in an apartment and the things that you experience in the apartment and then you know you move on from there. Can I get out of here? Oh, and of course there is a wall there. Brick wall. Okay. Oh snap! That scared the hell out of me! Oh! You just follow me around. What is this? A key. Okay, I'll I'll take it. Just, just move out of my way. All right. So, you know, like, like I mentioned, this is uh, getting used to playing game and doing the podcast at the same time. Uh, my top. <coughs> Oh snap. So my topic for the second one was the plastic bag. You know, and I guess I guess a lot of the things will be changing over the years and and I hate that. A lot of the changes are either good and a lot of the other changes are actually bad. And it does frustrate a lot of people. I mean, especially with this economy that's going on, you know, they they try to they try to, you know, just fork out all of the money that we have, you know, and then, and then basically we got to pay for everything, every little thing. When things used to be, oh, 
snap. When things used to be cheap, you know, and some of them were free, like the plastic bags that, that I mentioned, to paying for it now, you know, it's, it is annoying, you know, and I don't think it's going to get any better in the future, but we just, what the hell, there's two, that disappeared, oh my goodness, I have a feeling this mannequin will be following me around and whatnot, what is this, a radio, okay, annoying. Uh, is there something in this room for me? Another key, of course. Long door key. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to take it. Uh, did you just close the door on me? Don't do that next time. It's freaky. Yes, like, as I mentioned, you know, I wonder if that, this key is for getting out of the, the apartment here. Let's see if I can get out. But I know for sure there's still a wall here. Uh, yes. Still- oh, snap! You keep freaking me out, man! Keep freaking me out. Sheesh. All right, enough with that bag because I don't think that's uh, that's ever gonna change. So lately, you know, watching on TikTok and and YouTube, and even on the news, I don't know if any of you guys. Uh, okay. I don't know if you guys watched the news a couple of weeks ago, but a lot of people are, are starting to see things, you know, like aliens in the sky. Uh, I don't know if you guys read or watched the news about the, that the alien that happened in the Miami Mall. I mean, that's, that's got to be freaky, right? But then again whatever we see uh, hydromorphone pills hydromorphone pills? what the heck? yeah uh, whatever you see on the media nowadays we don't even know if it's if it's real or if it's fake right? like what happened to the Miami uh, mall where these aliens started popping up and people are recording it, it it makes me wonder too sometimes because it makes me question why like these these videos that they they post is is never clear it's never uh, you know it, yeah like uh, like I mentioned it's it's clear every, every videos pictures is basically blurry just like when people take pictures right they uh, when they post it it's always blurry for some reason I that that's why we don't even know if it's if it's true or if it's fake oh, what, what's going on like why am I so close to the wall if it's fake or if it's real because everything is blurry from like the Loch Ness monsters to seeing Bigfoot and now people are seeing aliens and you know it's like the 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 law enforcement and the government just wants to keep it quiet I guess they just don't want people to panic when you know these things happen when these things occur so yeah well what do you guys think do you think it's it's real, it's fake. We don't know, right? Okay, uh, we got a long key, but we don't even know what that key is used for. Let me open this door. 
Okay, that... Okay, this used to be a different room. A lot has changed in this apartment. See what I'm saying? Odd things going on in the apartment. And what am I supposed to do here? So this is what I... So I can store that? Basically? Okay. Oh, okay. So basically that's for storing whatever I need to store. What's in here? Oh! Oh, yes! A oh a rusty pistol it looks rusty but it looks dark but I'm gonna take it okay so we got a gun but do we even have ammo that's that's the question right do we have ammo but I got the axe so with the axe you can never run out of ammo with this one because it, it's an axe unlike a gun here of course you will always run out of ammo and I can see on the bottom right that we have seven ammo or seven bullets in the gun so I just put that away because I'm not gonna need it what if I start running and then you know you trip and you basically you know you fall on top of the axe there's always something in the, in the in the drawer what is this one rusty key everything in this game is rusty you notice that everything here is rusty rusty gun rusty axe rusty hallways rusty floors rusty toy what the hell is that Okay, just stay ducked. You ducked down. What the hell was that? You didn't even go through. You just did it. Ugh. It disappeared. Alright, let's go through this door. So, I'm just wondering, are you guys interested in this? You know, do you find this interesting? Me doing. A, a podcast while I'm playing a game so that way you know oh my goodness Ugh. fight okay whoo I mean he took a swing at me that's a weird looking type of blood You're glowing okay back to the uh, the topic I was talking about yeah, if you guys are interested in this type of setup that I'm doing, you know, game and podcast, let me know down in the comments below. You know, I, I'm i liking it. I just have to get used to it. You know, how about you guys? Will you guys get used to what I'm doing? Because at least you guys are not just looking at my face. You know, at least you'll be watching uh, the type of game that I'm playing. Oh! Okay, two swings is good. I don't like it when you you kill an enemy and it takes a long time to kill them. But anyways, as I was mentioning, you know, uh, this is something that I need to get used to. And, you know, I will continue this again. And, you know hopefully I can get some tractions you know get get some likes and a thumbs up if you guys actually like this this content that I'm doing gaming podcast you know give me give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet you know and I will play another game I may or may not continue with this game because some of you might find this uh, scary and you know if you want me to play uh, 
something more fun and just let me know you know just leave a comment down below in the comment section so yep so that is the, the end of the the topic of you know what's going on uh, on the third topic that I was talking about about these aliens or whatnot we don't I don't even know if they do exist I mean why is it that other people can see them and I can't you know what I mean how come other people can experience those and I don't so I don't know if it's real or fake if you want me to expound on on these other topics and this topic that I just uh, just brought up you know let me know so that uh, yeah I can share it with you guys again on the next episode so this is my first episode trying to get used to it I hope you guys like this content until next time I'll see you guys again <laughs>